You all know it. You can all feel it. The way you move, the way you feel, the way you look. It's different from an untrained person. It's different from how you would be if you were untrained. There's something about you that's different. People can sense it. You're more poised, more responsive. You're stronger when you need to be, more settled down when you can be. More focused on what matters, less distracted by disturbances in your own heart or by surprises in the world around you. Those are facts. Those are some of the effects of your training. That took work. It didn't just happen. It takes a way of life to keep it. It will not stick if you're not training. That's how it works. There's no other way. People will not all appreciate it, or notice it, or identify it if they do notice something. They may not be familiar with training or the effects of training. It may seem to them that that's just the way you are. You're lucky. They're not. Some people who are neurotic, disturbed, slack, hyper, addicted, or depressed may think you're just normal, that you don't get the reality of life, which to them is miserable and turbulent, filled with falsehood, pretense, and pain. They don't understand who you are, what you do, how you live, what you've achieved, or what might be good about it. Some people will judge you not based on your attributes, but based on what they think is valuable. If they value credentials, titles, awards, for example, or high social status, they'll judge you based on those criteria. They will not see you. They will consider your pedigree, your inheritance, your job, your degrees, your wealth, your political position, your physical attributes, your property, your notoriety, or some other quality. Then they can place themselves above you, make use of you, or dismiss you according to their preference. Their loss, not yours. You cannot expect to be appreciated by foolish people for your good qualities. Quite the contrary. Foolish people may try and level you, mock your effort, denigrate your goals and your way of life. They may have a charming presence, facility with harsh words, status in their group. It's essential that you understand and appreciate who you are, what you've achieved, and how valuable that is. Then those random opinions will not touch you, will not off-balance you, will not distract you, will not deter you. Then you'll be free to disengage from foolish people and harmful influences. You'll be free to put your attention on the people who can benefit from it and devote your effort to courses of action that will further your goals, your training, and your life. Keep up the good work. Thank you.